Hey everybody, this is your your boy, your main man, Jim Austin with Jim Austin Online. Man, it's a beautiful day in Fort Worth. I'm so glad to wake up this morning in the city of Fort Worth where a lot of things are going on. And um, yeah, so getting ready to celebrate another week in Fort Worth. We are here in the stockyards, in the historic Fort Worth stockyards on 21st and Main. Uh, been up here about, uh, I guess you can say a year and a half. The uh, home of the National Multicultural Western Heritage Museum resides up here on the corner of 21st and Main, which is one block south of the famous restaurant Joe T. Garcia which if you didn't know it's open you know they uh, they go up in there and drink those margaritas and they eat that good Mexican food and I have to honestly say that's where I learned where that's where I learned how to enjoy Mex Mexican cuisine at Joe T. Garcia my name is Jim Austin I am um, the um, CEO president of Jim Austin Online we're doing some amazing things with the uh, COVID um, sensation, uh, COVID um, pandemic going on. And um, we do social media, we do marketing, we let you know what's going on in the Metroplex. We have a number of platforms of business. And what I had to do, because I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur, you know, anyone that knows Jim Austin knows that he is an entrepreneur. I'm a serial entrepreneur. So I created this new podcast called The Austin File. And The Austin File talks to you about <clears throat> commercial real estate, what's going on in North Texas, and then interview people of interest, people that have something to say. We've done, I've done approximately... Uh, 12, 13 podcasts, so you can post, bring them up, and there's always inf good information on there. So I told Blue, Core Blue, my producer, that I just wanted to talk to my fans, my supporters, the people that believe in my message about commercial real estate. A lot of people know Jim Austin, and I've been doing commercial real estate for over 39 years and uh, something that I get up every day excited about commercial real estate I do sales leasing tenant rep also known as the fresh prince of commercial real estate but under that umbrella I have a number of other companies that um, I support and that I have developed the pandemic has uh, closed down my museum. We're now four months on a hiatus, uh, closed. Our doors are closed to the public. Um, my wife and I are founders of the National Multicultural Western Heritage Museum. Website, cowboysofcolor.org. Discovered about 25 years ago that, ooh, 40% of the cowboys were people of color, black, Hispanic, Native American, Asian, and it just, you know, inspired me to start a museum. And my wife and I, we started that uh, roughly 21 years ago. No, 20 years. We'll be celebrating 20 years in 2021. I was telling Gloria, I said, look, we need to order some new cups. We have, um, 10 year anniversary cups and we're getting ready to do a big sale on those so listen up and that's one of the things that I'm very involved in that's my passion my love is commercial real estate because when you think about the people that are very um, influential and very um, I guess um, um, What's the word I'm trying to say? Very rich, you know, is that they've invested in commercial real estate. 
You know, a lot of times people think of doctors and lawyers and architects and engineers, educators. 95% of them have secured their wealth through commercial real estate. They invest in a uh, office building, a shopping center, apartment building, land, uh, warehouses. That's how you secure wealth is making sure that your portfolio has a portion of commercial real estate. The great thing about commercial real estate is once, well any real estate, is once you pay it off, that money continues to come into your household. You get to live on it, it's part of your retirement, so I'm always real high on real estate. And right now is a good opportunity to invest in commercial real estate. And I say that because there's a lot of people liquidating. There's a lot of folks that just say, hey, I'm ready to pass it on. So if you're in, interested in investing in commercial real estate, I recommend that you call me. My uh, number is 817-829-5848. That's my cell number. Um, I don't ever sleep. I mean, you, sometimes you can hit me at 3 in the morning. Definitely, if you hit me at 5 in the morning, I'm up, and I'll be glad to talk to you. 817-829-5848. One of the reasons that I've been able to be successful in staying in the industry, not only because I love it, you know, I, I have a degree in marketing administration from Howard University. Uh, I thank Howard and I thank my parents for paying for me to be able to go to Howard University and get my degree. I, uh, I call these things the best decisions in my life and I can give you my top five, I can give you my top ten, but going to Howard University lists top five and decisions that I made in the choosing a college that gave me a good foundation of teaching me about uh, real estate. One other thing that I tell people that pledge in Kappa Alpha Psi, oh my God, you know, top five. A decision that I made that I wanted to become a fraternity man and I pledge Kappa. And uh, at Howard University there's another a number of sororities and fraternities that were founded at Howard, but I feel in my heart I chose the best. Um, Cap Alpha Psi, founded in 1911 at Indiana University. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. Go Noops. Go Noops. You know, you'll find us everywhere doing great things. So, commercial real estate has just been something that is my love. So, I don't work a day in my life. You know, every day, and I tell my interns, and people that I'm around, I'm not working because I enjoy what I do. You know, when I say Jim is the fresh prince of commercial real estate, I'm a dream builder. So if you have dreams of being able to retire, I encourage you to look at putting a little bit of commercial real estate in your portfolio. And right now is a good time to invest. Um, there's some projects that we got listed a lot of people come to me and say, hey, Mr. Austin, I want to invest in real estate. I said, you know, you can do residential, but you should look at commercial. It's less headache. You know, there's nothing like having an a irate tenant in your building in residential. Commercial, you don't pay, you got to go. And it's real easy. And if you have some interest, I'd love to talk to you at any time. My email is jaustin at the Austin Company, spelled out, dot com. And that's where you can find me. So, um, I look forward to hearing from you. I just woke up this morning. You know, I, 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 I spend my quality time, I, I try to walk at least two to three miles at three times a week. To make sure that I keep my core, my, uh, my, my heart pumping, and I do some of my best thinking. So this morning I walked two miles, and it was nice and cool out there today on the 28th 
of July. Man, July shot by. I mean, the 4th of July seems like it was last weekend. So uh, that's good. Um, one of my other companies is I'm the owner of the warehouse. Previously the Austin Event Center. Previously the warehouse on Barry. Now we just call it the warehouse. We've decided because of the COVID pandem pandemic that my, where my, my event center has been closed for four months. You know, governor said you can't open up. You can't have more than 10 people at your place. So um, we, uh, we, um, we came up with another plan. We do virtual live music at the event center. It's, uh, it was going on for four months. We started out with Grown Folks Jazz, which was very successful. We had over 100,000 views on Facebook, absolutely free. Some of the best bands in uh, North Texas that are my friends would come in and, uh, you know, I got a call from my friend um, Eddie from Vinjack. He said, Jim, he said, I heard you're paying bands to play music. I said, where did you hear that, Eddie? He said, man, it's all out on the Facebook and my friends told me. So, you know, you're going to give me a shot? Said, Eddie, come on. So we let Eddie play. We had 12 bands play the Juneteenth Virtual Music Concert Festival. No, it was festival. So we did that on the 19th of June and the 20th of June. We raised money for United Way, Tarrant County, National Multicultural Western Heritage Museum, and Artist Outreach. So we had a lot of people tune in and downloaded it. And, um, you know, 12 bands, 50-minute shows. So we're getting ready to, um, no, we've already um, put all 12 of those bands in a, um, a presentation. So in about 10 days, we're going to launch that show. It's going to be called the Juneteenth Virtual Music Concert Series. So look out for it. Some of the best bands in North Texas, you know, um, man, uh, Vin, uh, Fingerprints, um, man, uh, Lenny Nance, you know, um, Kenya. I mean, the list goes on. I mean, it was a great show. It was a great time. Um, yes, Natural Change. But uh, right now, we have a big show this weekend, August the uh, 1st, live music, daiquiris, good food, wine, uh, doors open at 7.30, shows at 8 o'clock, we go 8 to 11, um, pre-sale is $10, 15 at the door, $5 virtual concert access on Eventbrite, go to Jim Austin online. Um, Natural Change is one of the top cover bands in the Metroplex. I say top five is uh, Natural Change. Four brothers throwing out some vibes. They got the, the, the vocalists, the whole deal. So check us out uh, this Saturday, August the 1st. Uh, we got a uh, partnership with Who Dat, you know, the lounge out of Grand Prairie. They got four stores in Texas and they're partnering with me. And we'll have food, daiquiri, and, and other type things there. So that's what's getting ready to go down on Jim Austin Online. The event center is available to book for concerts. So if you want to get some good music, check me out Saturday night. Download the subscription on Eventbrite. And uh, we got a lot of people downloading, man, because that band, this is like their third show. And uh, we got some more stuff coming up for you in the future. But I used to do network business mixers, Jim Austin Online. We'd have anywhere from 60 to 80 folks once a month coming by, hanging out with us at the, uh, in the stockyards at the Western Heritage Museum, hanging out at my new um, virtual office space up here, the uh, uh, Western Heritage Center. But on August the 11th, 
We're starting up our business mixers again. We haven't done one since March. And uh, we're going to do the Stockyards Coffee Hour right here from the Stockyards Podcast Studios. If you want to stop by and get a cup of coffee, feel free, but it'll be virtual. You know, join us for our virtual Stockyards Coffee Hour with Jim Austin. Our guest speaker is Nate uh, Krieger, president of the Stockyards Marketing Exchange. Bad boy, TCU graduate, and you never would think to look at him that the brother sings opera. So we're going to be up here. We're going to try to get a couple notes from him. But it's online. Go to Jim Austin online. Sign up. It's absolutely free to get your latest news on what's going on in marketing, what's going on in the stockyards, what's going on around town. So uh, tune in. And uh, boy, it's my pleasure to talk to you today on my podcast show. And that's all I'm doing is just sharing information that's good for quality of life gives people an opportunity to share. We have sponsorships available, $100, $250, $500. And uh, we'd love to see you on the 11th of August at, at 9 o'clock to 10.30. Absolutely free. If you want to stop by and get a cup of coffee, I'd love to see you. Um, we're here. 2029 North Main in the Stockyards. Or you can come by my event center to get some good music on this uh, Saturday, uh, August the 1st. Natural change. I mean, we we have been allowed to have a, um, I guess, a hundred in attendance. We spread it out. You get your temperature taken. You have to have a mask, and we have you spaced out. The venue holds 400 folks, but we're only allowing 100 to come in. If you want to just get out and be in your own space and time. It's been my pleasure to talk to you about what's going on in Fort Worth, a little bit about commercial real estate, and listen to my next interview. We're always looking and talking to people that are making things happen. I want to thank my staff, my producer, Core Blue. The man, you know, uh, um, uh, Corp Blue's a junior at Texas Wesleyan, uh, playing football. Real talented brother. Destiny Redman, I tried to get her to come in and let me interview her. She does social media. Proud college graduate. My wife, Glory Austin, who's taken over our um, Eventbrite uh, page and helping to promote things on Jim Austin Online. Um, Des no, not Destiny, but Roxanne, Rockstar Marketing. Oh my God, she, she makes it happen. And then Vivian Fuller Love. Vivian's been with me for 20 years. She does our press releases and stuff. And uh, I'll come back and talk to you. We're going to start doing uh, waffles, chicken and waffles on Sunday with live jazz music. I think that starts up on the 15th weekend, probably the 16th of August. But you'll be seeing that on Jim Austin Online. Please sign up for my YouTube page, Jim Austin Online. We're trying to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube. I hope to see you Saturday night talking to you to listen to some natural change. And if you want to come out, come on out. And um, I think that's it. Is that it, producer? I think I did good. Well, uh, did I do all right? Great. Good, good, good. Well, my pleasure. Be safe. Wear your mask. Stay at home. Over from Jim Austin Online.